Okay, yep. So what, what do you want to do today? Any preference? What do you want to learn today? Can you hear me? Okay, am I? Okay, so we are live again. So welcome to learn the Blade Bridge. Uh, today, I'm not sure what I'm going to cover. Okay, so I think uh, competitive buildings. Okay, I think I'll cover competitive buildings. Okay, let's start. Screen. Screen two. Okay. Hey, let's put as an example of competitive bidding. Okay, so here, okay, so when you dream and you beat, oh, there's an echo. I have to remove the echo. Okay, can. Yeah. Okay, back to this. So when you have competitive bidding, it occurs when opponent kind of like um, interfere with your bidding. So for example, in this case, uh, after opening one no trunk, there are many ways you can interfere to no, uh, one no trunk bidding. So I think here we are playing uh, Capillati. So Capillati is a system where two hearts is hearts and a minor. And then, uh, okay, so this is the whole Capillati system. Unfortunately, there are quite a number of different ways to play that. So uh, I, I just I, I prefer Capillati, yeah, because that's the default that the robots play. Okay, so Capillati is very simple. Um, against no trump, two clubs is a single suitor. Uh, two diamonds is both majors. Two hearts is hearts and a minor. Two spades is spades and a minor. Double is for penalty. I don't really like double as penalty lah. Because usually it's, it's quite it's, it's quite um, difficult to, to set them uh, in, in a one no trunk double contract. So this is called Tabulati. Uh, there are some people who play a uh, different system based on whether you're defending against a strong or weak no trump. But I guess uh, no, no much difference. Uh, so this is uh, Tabulati, yeah. Okay, Ken. Okay, great. Okay, so this is capability. So back to that uh, example. So two hearts is a uh, hearts and a minor. And then uh, two no trump here is called level saw. Okay, level saw is a convention that robots play. Uh, I don't, I, I, I also play that. Yeah, but uh, you have remember some of the subsequent follow up. So the, after two no trump, it forces partner to beat three clubs. And then the next bit, they will actually explain what's the hand. Whether it's an invitational, where it's a drop, and things like that. Okay, level saw. There are a few ways you can play level saw. So level saw, this is just interface against no trump. You can also use level saw for uh week week two. Okay, so yeah, this is the one that uh I usually play. We go through this first. Okay, so it's just it's basically just very simple. Okay, the the bit is very simple. It just asks partner to be three clubs. What is difficult is a subsequent bit. So what is subsequent bit? Subsequent bit is written here. Oh, so many. Okay. So for example, uh, for this is against a natural overcall of uh, two space. 
So uh, using hand A, uh, probably you want to not to defend against two spades. Yeah. So you just want to play in three clubs. So what you do is you will bid two no trump, partner will bid three clubs, and then uh, pass. Okay. So after partner bid three cards, you pass. Hand B, you have a stronger hand, you may want to invite. So after partner bid three clubs, uh, you can actually bid, you can actually bid, uh, bid three diamonds. Yeah. So this one is actually, uh, if your suit is a weak suit in diamonds, so you can bid three diamonds. Okay. So this, this is a weak bid. This is called a drop bid. Yeah. So after partner bid three clubs, whatever bid you make, it's a drop bid. Whether you pass or bid three diamonds. So that's similar to a no front transfer. For hand B, okay, so there are possibly, because you have a six, eight, nine points, so there are possibly for game. You cannot be no trump because you have a space stop, okay? But uh, you can consider five clubs, four hard or three no trump. So what happened is, uh, after you, you, so here in this case, you don't use leper saw, you use three clubs with forcing, new suit forcing, and then you can explore it. So if you have a weak hand, you will beat two no trump, and then I'll transfer three clubs where you can drop. And finally, for hand C, okay, where you have a spade stop and you're actually quite strong, uh, you can actually beat uh, three clubs. Yeah, again. So basically, when you have a weak hand, you can use level saw to drop. So that part is the weak hand. Okay, when you have a weak hand or unbalanced hand. Next, if you have an inclination hand, this is what you can do. You can beat three spades here, which is invitational. Okay. So partner can actually pass or, or big game if you have like 17 points. This is where you can use an invitation sequence. And this is when you beat a suit. So you, you do have to agree that, yeah, I think uh, I think we want to go through that. Lah. Okay, we go back. So in this case, uh, this Donald Trump is uh, uh, level saw. Okay, asking partner to be three clubs. But then when you beat three hearts here, it's time partner, because two cards is actually a uh, hearts and a minor. So just showing that you have hearts and then you actually beat in four hearts and it makes. Okay, four hearts. Yeah, mixed up one actually. Yeah, so our hardly is a just contract. Okay, so this is competitive bidding. So what other example of competitive bidding? This is competitive against one new trump. Uh competitive bidding here, another competitive bidding. So uh here after you open one diamond, uh opener over call one spade. Okay, and then north bid two diamonds. These two diamonds is actually called limit raise of valor. What this means is I have Good support in spades. What is your next bid? If your next bid is uh, two spades, means you have a bad over call. The contract will end at two spades. If you have bid anything stronger than that, it's actually showing that uh, there's a possibility of a game. So this is a forcing bid. So a weak bid here is two spades. Getting three spades probably also invitational. And then after you bid three spades to invite, and then, and then I pass. Okay, which turns out to be a correct decision. Here I have. Uh, why do you be on spade? Yeah? Hmm, interesting. I should have five cards soon. Hmm, why do you be on spade? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, but at least one switch with one five cards. So I'm not sure why I beat one spade, one five cards. So maybe it's a misclick. Yeah, so supposed to be a five card suit. Very strange. Okay, never mind. Forget about this. Yeah, but the one switch will be a five card suit. I'm not sure why is it four. Hmm. Can't remember. <laughs> okay, never mind. So here there's no competitive bidding. This one, no competitive bidding. Yeah, okay. Here not competitive bidding. So one spade, opening hand, two clubs uh, over call. And then south pass. Why did I pass? Hmm. Because I, I have a very awkward hand. I don't have space stop. I have some clubs. Uh, if I have another diamond, I could have doubled to show a negative double. I could potentially beat two hearts. Yeah, but I think two hearts is probably forcing in this sequence. So I decided to pass first. And then so partner beat two diamonds. I mean, I'll put a bit two diamonds, which is, uh, is I don't think it's forcing. Uh, it's just, uh, Highly uh, constructive with eight points. And then which hand two hearts. 
and then my partner bid two spades for six. Yeah, when it's at this point of time, that's the problem, you see. Yeah, once you wish here, you're already quarreling your partner. Your partner has, has no nothing. And then I think two hearts, three hearts, I think two hearts probably a good contract. Three hearts should be down. How can we down three? I should be down one. Yeah, but I can down three on the correct lead. So here is already which is situation where yeah. So maybe the two hearts is not really four hearts. Yeah, because you only promise four. And no space with eleven points. I only have nine. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be two hearts. Okay, so that's the problem, you see. So uh the problem with the bidding is when you avoid an open partner suit, there's always a risk after you beat two hearts, you rebeat the suit, then what's gonna happen? I think two spades probably yeah, so three hearts should be at least is okay, just that I should play for down one. Okay, but uh in general that's uh yeah, nobody beats spades. So I think three hearts is probably the correct bidding. Yeah, three hearts. Okay. Can. Okay, before I continue, any question about competitive bidding? This lesson is actually for advanced everyone. So if you have any questions on competitive bidding or any other things, you can just uh, unmute yourself and speak. Then we can discuss that, yeah. Mm -hmm. No questions? Okay. Let's find that. Okay, so, okay lah. So questions, so let's continue then. Maybe we we'll try some uh, real example. Competitive bidding. Let's see. Okay, so uh, okay, let's hope we do well. Okay, so here uh, quite straightforward. I'll open one heart. You have uh, eight, 10, 15 points. So it's one heart. Okay, don't no commentary bidding here. Okay, one spade, and then can be two diamonds. Okay, but do up to 16. Here you have eight, 10, 15 points. I think two diamonds is fine. You beat three diamonds is a bit too high. Three diamonds will show a much stronger hand, 18 points. I guess two diamonds is fine. Another possibility to beat two hearts to show you have a six card suit. That's possible also. But look at here, two hearts shows 11 15. Uh, two diamonds doesn't show the limit, 16. Yeah, so I think I will try two diamonds. Okay, so partner uh, chose a false preference of two hearts. Six to nine points. With 15 points, you could beat three hearts to invite. Yeah, so three hearts should show about uh, 15 points. Yeah. One, two, should I? So you need to construct a hand where partner can be, okay, firstly, partner may only have one, may not even have two hearts. Let's say one heart and nothing much. Six to nine, yeah. That, let's, let's be adventurous, la. let's try three hearts. La. Oh, it went to four. Okay, usually, right, they say they have eight to nine points. I don't think they have eight to nine points. Okay, we'll see. So six, eight, well, we have eight points. Okay, so in a suit contract, oh, so many people, okay, four people join. The suit contract always count your losers. Okay, first thing is which is your master trump hand. So this will be a master trump hand, the south hand, because you have longer trump. So trump suit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cards. If the trump break four, one, you can, you will not have any loser. If the trump break three, two, no loser. Only if your trump break five, zero, you will lose to the 10. Okay, unless the 10 drop. But you're also missing the nine and the eight, okay. So potentially no hard loser, one spade loser, one club loser, and I think you need to rough the diamond. Yeah. So you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So four, so six, you will need to rough the diamond twice. Okay, so let's see. Next one will be a club, I think. No. Oh, okay, very good. They tried to draw trans. Oh, uh, what should I do? I think I will win here. Wow, a lot of things I need to do. I also need to... Wow, okay. Here I can try to play West for the Ace, so that King of Spade can discard one loser. Wow, I'm quite stuck here. Okay, I think I'll win, I'll win here. Unblock the diamond. 
and then rough a club. Now I rough a diamond. Okay. The problem is the ace came out, so I could potentially get rough. Okay, I think I'll, I'll, I'll rough high. Ah, okay, it's a false cut. Remember, you play the ace. Okay, down contract up one. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so if I try to uh, establish the spade, what happened is that I'll lose to the ace and then I'll, I'll get the rough. So I think the key in this lesson is the roughing of the diamond, right? The roughing of the, the diamond is definite. Discarding a diamond on the king of spade is dependent on where's having the ace. So if you play for that line and West doesn't have the ace, then you won't be able to have a chance to rough the diamond. Yeah. Okay, let's see, give me any other tricks. Okay, good. So it should be uh okay, on a hard lead, you should just contract. Yeah, so they didn't lead a hard lead. So unblock the diamond is correct. Rough a club. Okay. Yeah, rough diamond. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that's about one. Any question? Anybody? Okay, let's see whether we have some competitive bidding for next one. So you have 6, 8, 9, 11, sorry, 6, 8, 9, 11, 13, 16 points, right? 6, 8, oh, how to count? Okay, Ace, King, Queen, Jack is 10 points, 16 points. So 16 points, simple one, no trump. Okay, it's another no, um, there's no competition. Okay. But it's okay. Okay, so here again, okay, this is the difficult one that people get confused because you have four trumps here and four trumps here. You have a choice of uh, letting any of the hand be the master. Trump. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, let me just mute you. Okay, so if you want to unmute, just unmute yourself. Okay, anyway, uh, here I think the key is usually you want the stronger hand to be a master trump hand. So between your two hand, I think uh, south will be a master trump hand. So you use south as a master trump hand. I mean, you can do it both ways, you have the time. Uh. So if you have south as a master trump hand, so there'll be no spade loser. There will be two diamond loser, and there will be two cup loser, bound one. So sad. Okay, so if uh, north is a master trump hand, there will still be a uh, two diamond loser and two or three club loser also. Yeah, so on a club day, you have uh, one less loser. This is down one. Yeah, nothing you can do. On a non club lead, if it's a spade lead, you can potentially uh, discard your clubs on the spade. Actually, probably not. Uh. Did I get rough? No, I didn't. I still lose two diamonds, so I don't think there's a way to make it. Yeah. Interesting. I think now it's back break again. Okay, so now One. Okay, anyway, to make the contract. That should be down two. So it's quite lucky. So club lead. Okay, shouldn't cash the ace. What they should have done here is to play a diamond back, ace king of diamond, and after that a club return and then diamond rough. Yeah, so then will be down two. Okay. Okay, never mind. Let's hope there's a competitive bidding soon. So next hand, um, 
you have uh, 15 points. So open one heart. Okay, competitive bidding. So West double, okay. And then your partner bid one spade. Okay, this one spade is actually a free bid because part here actually pass. So when you bid a free bid with only six points, you may want to pass rather than bid. So this, because you are, you are not you are not obliged to bid. So when you bid, you should have more points than if you are forced to bid with six points. So with this, you should have eight points. But I don't really trust the robot, yeah. Okay, so you have a choice of bidding two hearts or two diamonds. Okay, so you see West double. When West double, think about what's the shape. West can usually will have uh, at least three spades, three diamonds or hearts. I think I'll just be two hearts. Uh. I don't think I want to bid um, two diamonds. Oh, the reverse. Wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, and six. So this one only show five. Six. Let me try three diamonds. Blue three will try better. Okay. I need four hearts. May not have four two card spades, I tell you. So it may not have two card hearts. Oh, they really have two card hearts. Okay, so six, ten, twelve points. So this is called responder reverse. Okay, say so again, go back to your hand. So this is your master trump hand. So in master trump hand, uh, you'll lose one heart. Uh, one or two spades when who has a king because uh, West double, West might have the ace and then uh, one diamond loser into rough it and clubs. Yeah, so your clubs can be discard. So I guess what I'll do is I'll rough and then I'll play the clubs to discard my spades. Let's try that. Okay, and now ace. Oh, sounds bad. Hmm, okay, now discard the last bit. We well, can over rough. Uh, over rough. Uh, let's over rough. Okay, now draw the trumps. Okay, on side. Okay, now I can claim. Draw the trumps. The rest are good. Okay, let's see. Could we have done better? Four hearts up one. Yeah, always up one, nothing much. Okay. Okay, last one. Let's look at this. Uh, here you have uh, 12, 15, 17, 18, 19 points. So over it one club. This one could be a potential slam. Then must ask what slam is it? Okay, before anything, uh, you can either beat one diamond up the line or one spade. Okay, here I think since west pass, east pass, let's beat up the line. Yeah, because actually by then again, I have a stronger hand. I want to be actually the one in control. So maybe one spade first. Uh. If I read one diamond and my partner be one spade, it's possible. Uh. Good question. I think here, I think I will be one diamond, one spade. Difficult. Let me try one diamond first. If my partner be hearts, one spade. Let's try one spade. Uh. I like to focus on major. Ah, okay. So now simple race. So potentially there's a slam. You have, uh, again, uh, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20. So many points. Uh. 12, 15, 18, 19, 20. 20 points. Wow, okay. So you can go, okay, a few ways you can do it. Uh, you can kill bit. Three clubs. This is just game try. Uh, okay, or you can be for no trump. For no trump is 20 plus. I think for no trump is the easiest. Okay, so what we play is actually this thing called Roman key card backward. Very simple. Five clubs is uh, zero or three. Five diamonds, one or four key card. The key card uh, refers to the four aces and the king of trump, which is a spade here. So we have one, two, three. Three key cards. We are missing two key cards, which is the king of spade and the ace of hearts. Because we are missing the king of spade and the ace of hearts, I think we can't go seven spades, but we we'll probably end up with six spades. We are missing one key card, but there's a danger if the missing is the ace, we may be in trouble. Yeah, but since we are here, I think we just beat six spades. Uh. What is life without some fun? The problem is your partner, you may open light. So you're missing the king of spades. We are missing the king of clubs and the diamond. Okay. 
interesting. Okay, let me try playing the 10. Then let me finesse the spade. Okay, lost. Okay. Okay, no more Trump. Okay. You can rough one spade, uh, one diamond, and that's it. Okay, six big mix. Okay, that's good. Don't think I made any more. Let's see the results. Sixty-six point seven percent, not too bad. Okay, but I put this one. Not many people play, so that's why you all I can try. Uh, this is the uh the free game. All you do is go to uh. Okay, go to uh, Virtual Club, choose the second option. Okay, for those who are not uh, Mandarin reader, it means Mandarin area, but it doesn't matter. You just click on it, and then uh, you can just play. The first one is actually uh, IMS, the second one is Match Points. Okay, before I continue, let's stop here and watch some people. Okay, okay, so any questions? What, what, what do you want me to cover? Yeah, we still half an hour. Any or Anything that you want me to cover? You try to do competitive bidding, but so far not much. Yeah, it's just unmute and, and share what, what you like to learn. Anybody? Oh, you can chat. Gary, Gary, Gary. Yes. Oh, it's so all chat there. I saw that. Gary. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, yeah. Just thought there was one bot where you went. Uh, your your robot go one club mm. and then you have diamonds and you have spade. Mm. You have four diamonds, you have four spade. Then you were contemplating should I beat one diamond or should I beat one spade? Yeah. Remember? Okay. Yeah. I, I I thought definitely we should be beating one spade. No need to think. Okay. If you beat one spade, you are playing this thing called mafia. Majors uh, majors orientated. Yeah, okay, let me yeah. see what it actually stands for. Mafia. Mafia major. I just covered this a uh, couple of weeks ago. Uh, mafia bridge majors only. Majors oriented bidding. Okay, where's that mafia? Uh, Bit four card space, bit four, four card diamond. Respond. Okay, so we are paying match points, unfortunately, because major scores better. So sometimes people will actually uh beat the major in preference. Because you must always remember, uh, your component may compete. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, you may miss a major fit. That's why you want to actually emphasize a major. Let me, let me find that again. Uh. Okay, there's a question about qubit. Okay, qubit is a very confusing thing. Okay, so uh, let's see. What okay, let's go find a hand where qubit. And the first time I actually qubit here, uh, where's the qubit? Here. 
Okay, so here, this is called uh, number of your partner over core. Your two diamonds here is a qubit. Okay, just think of it, a qubit or is an artificial bit usually in opponent suit. So this qubit is just a limit raise of error. It's time partner, did you overcall with a real overcall or just a weak overcall? If you overcall with a real real opening hand, you can jump to game because I have at least uh, 10 plus points with good support in space. So this is called a limit raise of better qubit. It is one of the qubit you have, okay? Other qubits will be things like uh, qubiting uh, uh, aces or first round control. You can either qubit first or second round control. Actually, this is really called control bit, not really a qubit. But the thing is that I prefer to, 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 to show a control bit in the first round. So first round control will be ace or avoid. Okay, some people prefer qubit second round control, but that's their preference. I prefer first round control. So in general, this is what a qubit is. If you have any question, you can just unmute yourself or just type in the chat. Yeah, is that okay? So qubit can be uh, in response to, in response to partner's bid. If you qubit, which means to be an opponent suit, for example, one heart, one spade, two spades. So two spades here is a qubit. This two spades time partner I have 10 plus points in hearts, 10 plus points with three card heart support, with heart support, maybe three or four. Okay. Similarly, one heart, one spade, Pass two hearts. The two hearts bit is also a qubit. It tells partner I have 10 plus points with uh, spade support. Okay, clear? So, first one is responder qubit. Second one is advancer qubit. Okay, we want to recap last lesson we taught. Opener, the partner opener is called a responder. The partner of the overcaller is called an advancer. Okay, so this is uh, the difference between qubit and uh, I play that as a limit raise or better. Okay, so other types of qubit or control bit would be in situation like, for example, one heart and then let's say three hearts and then the three spades are real qubit. Maybe a better example two clubs, two spades. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two clubs pass, two spades pass, and then four spades, okay, and then uh, pass, and then you, you after that you beat five clubs. These five clubs, after the suit is agreed, these five clubs above game is showing first round control in clubs, okay? It can either be a uh, void or ace, and then your partner will then see whether you want to kill it further. Yeah, or just big game, a big slam. Yeah, so there is a Q beating. Okay, let's see what they define Q bit as. Q bit. Hey, do you see that? Okay, so Q bit is either a bit of opponent suit or a slam seeking bit. Yeah, so now people use the term control bit, which I trying to say. Okay. So, uh, okay. okay, this example, one diamond, double pass. Okay, this one, this one is not a limit race. Why is this not a limit race? Okay, it's not a limit race because your partner didn't be anything. So it can't be a limit race. So this two hearts bit, I will take it as um, asking you to be on. So I have uh, some points, just describe your hand further, these two hearts. Uh, this two heart bit actually take that as the limit rate of battle, okay? Which is the same example I gave. One heart. This is called advanced qubit. Okay, so uh, here one heart, double one spade. Okay, two hearts here shows a very strong hand because your QB in opponent suit. Anyway, this is a bit that's unnatural, la. Yeah. Okay, one heart, one spade, two spade. I'll take this as a limit rate of battle. Yeah. This one shows uh. 10 plus points, at least three card support. Okay, all this example. Uh, okay. Okay, next one I talk about slam seeking, which one mentioned. So for example, one diamond, one heart, three hearts. These four clubs should be a qubit because hearts is a grid. So the next part is whether you're qubiting game or slam. Yeah. 
So here is four clubs Q bit showing first round control of clubs, interest in stamp. Okay, and then four diamonds is a Q bit in diamonds, and then four has sign off. Okay, and then four spades is showing the uh first round control in spade and so on. Okay, so that's about Q bidding, uh, basic Q bidding. This one, one no trum, three spades, four diamonds. It depends what you play that as. Uh, what is this three spades? Uh, I'll just transfer uh, one no transfer. Uh, don't be three spades. Uh. I don't like this three spades bit. Okay, skip it. Advanced Q bit, one heart, two diamonds, two hearts, three clubs, three no four hearts. Okay. Possible. Yeah, it depends how you play that. Uh. Okay, so uh, yeah, so these are two Q bit. First is serious or better when your partner, either the opener or the over convex bid, and then one is to show first round control. Okay, yeah, that's it for qubit. Any question else for qubit? Just type on the chat or unmute yourself. Okay, as for the other, as a question about majors, as I mentioned, usually I'll beat majors because in competitive bidding, if you don't beat your majors, you may not find a major fit. So you may be in a rush to get a major. Okay, but you follow the bridge principle, you should actually beat up the line. Yeah, so should you beat up the line or should you beat majors first? So beat up the line or beat the major first. Okay, this is an interesting example. Okay, this is okay. Uh, what if you have five diamonds and four spades? Should you beat up the line? Okay, not, should you be a longer suit or should you beat your major? Okay, this is an interesting example. Yeah, for example, one heart. Okay, and then you can either beat one spade, but actually here you can actually support uh, because they are playing a four, five, four card major. Okay, but anyway, uh, one heart, should you beat your diamonds or should you beat your spades? Yeah, so these are something you need to discuss with your partner. Uh, usually here, even though a uh, major scores better, but here you want to actually be correct in your shape. So if you have five diamonds and four spades, I will actually beat the diamond first. So if it's one club, uh, you know the one half, if it's one club, I will beat diamonds before spades. But otherwise, you actually misrepresent your, your length. So if you have five cut diamonds and four cut spades, I may beat my diamonds first. If I got four cut diamonds and four cut spades, I may beat my spades, ignoring my diamonds. Because in a competitive bidding, if you beat your diamond, they can actually overcall hearts. If you beat space, they have to go to a second level to overcall in hearts. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Still around 20 minutes. Just unmute yourself or type in the chat. Anybody? Okay, no, I'll just continue. You just, I do better when I teach and do the bridge because I'm forced to play carefully, okay? Okay, so okay, now, now this is a good example of competitive bidding. So here, this is a good example. You have a choice of double or overcall spades. Let's speak the longest suit. Here you have uh, 8, 10, 16, 17, 20 points. So one spade is up to 17 points. With a stronger hand, it's always correct to double and beat a suit to show 17 plus. Double. Okay, now your partner beat one heart. Remember uh, lesson last week, response to double. One heart shows up to eight points. Nine minus is up to eight, I think. We're going to find out. Is nine minus is up to eight or what? Okay, what is nine minus? Nine minus in uh, Jeep. What is nine minus?
never say it was nine minus. Yeah, never mind. Uh, let's take it as uh, eight points. Okay, never mind. So eight points. Here you have very strong hand, so you can beat two clubs. Ah, see, qubit. See, two cards with a qubit now. These two clubs is showing 18 plus total points. So yeah, so good. So when you play, and this come out easy, remember, these two cards is qubit. So your partner knows you have a very strong hand. Okay, I don't like this twin Ultron. Okay, so I guess four hearts will be a contract because I have a void club, so four hearts. Okay, four hearts. Okay, here we have covered two things, qubit, okay? So qubit. Okay, so now uh, again, which hand is your master trump hand? So first thing is, which trumps, which hand has a better trump? So south has better trumps, we've got king, queen. Which hand has more points? So south has more points. So south should be the master trump hand. Okay, the queen of spade looks like a singleton lead, okay? But uh, you are, now you have no spade loser. I hope you not can rough the thing. Uh, diamond, you may have a diamond loser, depending who has the queen. I think I'll start with the king and draw trumps. Okay, so I want to draw trumps ending up in dummy so I can take my club finesse, my diamond finesse. Okay, actually by right, I should cash one round of diamonds. Okay, get a singleton queen. Then I go back to my spade. Here will show out. Yeah. Now I can play the diamond. Okay. See where the queen drops. Okay. So now I can play the diamond. This one should be good. Okay. Okay. You lose the last pick. Oh, it's good. That's good. All tricks make. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is aim scoring. Okay, the difference between match point and aim scoring is that uh, in aims, right, your aim is to make a contract. Over tricks don't score much. Yeah, so let's see. So when you're playing aims, you try to uh, beat the game or slam and try not to uh, risk the contract for over trick. Okay, so in this hand, could we have, could we have uh, beat a slam? Very good question. Uh. So you see you're missing six, eight, 10, 12, 12 points. You're 32 points. Wow, six, eight, 10, 12. Partner got eight. How many points do I have? Uh? Ace, king, queen, jet, 10, 20 points. Not correct, eh? 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So you miss it, you have 28 points only. So, but you have what in clubs. So here, this hand, right? Very hard, very hard. Uh. Anyway, the diamond queen, right? I mean, the queen spade may not drop. Uh. So it's very strange that it drops. Okay, anyway, um, should we explore? That's a good question. One, two, three, three loser hand. Yeah. Okay, remember your one heart can be zero to eight points. Okay. The three no trump is showing nine plus point. Where's nine point? Only eight. Yeah, maybe the three, after the three no trump, maybe might want to explore. Yeah, but anyway, didn't. Okay, never mind. Okay, next hand 12, 16, 18, 9, 20 points. Wow, so many points. So 20 points hand. Um, okay. If if I have a singleton in diamonds or clubs, I will open to no trump. The probably open to no trump here with a singleton spade is your partner may transfer to spades with a six five card suit. Not so good. Uh. Yeah, so I will start with one diamond. But the danger of starting one diamond is partner may pass. And then you start with, what about starting with two clubs? You start with two clubs, you have beat three diamond. I need to start with two clubs. Uh. Okay, one, two, three, four, four loser, and that's like two clubs. Okay, three diamonds. You stay out of three no front. I think you stay out of three no front. 
I hate this. Okay, what is this? This shows again. Okay, I don't have any two points. Okay, this to be for no front. Uh, fair passing it. Uh, let's pass it. So I end up maybe better open to no trump. Okay, see so you. Okay, see so you open to no trump. Your partner will, will transfer to two hearts. Then you beat two spades. Yeah, they quite 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 a not a nice contract. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, not too bad. Okay, here again. Uh, no trump always count your winners. I have uh, three, uh, one spade winner, two hearts winner, that's three, four, five, six. But the diamond lead was actually very good for me. Okay, my cards are my long cards are my winner, so I discard a spade. Yeah. Okay, so now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm missing uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing five cards, right? So five cards can be three, two. If it's three, two, then the diamonds are all good. If it's four, one, then the diamonds not so good. But then you can need to lose one more. So let's play on, play the queen. Okay, play the jack. Okay, so the diamonds break as well. So the diamonds are all good. So now all you need to do is to establish the club. Okay, so now I think we miss slam again. So sad. Okay, I play the ace. Then I play the jack. Okay, miss them. The rest are good. Okay, so you're missing four, seven, nine, eleven points. Yeah. So okay, so the reason why four uh, six no trump mix is because the diamond was on site. Okay, it should be up two only. Uh. Wow, so they made some stupid mistake somewhere. Yeah, don't cover the king. Okay. So this is the one that most people get confused. Uh, actually can't tell also uh. because your partner may have a uh, okay. If it's six no trump, then maybe don't count the king because most likely your partner have nothing. Yeah, I probably may lead the heart. Yeah, so here you can see you play a king, then all the tricks are lost. Difficult, difficult. Yeah, so you have to guess where is this two. Okay, so what I do is usually what I'll do is I, I prefer this system where. Five, four, three, two. If I have an honor, I'll lead the two. If I don't have an honor, I'll lead the five. So if I lead the five, partner can see that uh, I don't have an honor, then partner will not play the king. Then it'll be up to. Okay, this system is called Boston lead. It's bottom of something, top of nothing. Okay. Okay, uh, in the interest of time, I just do one more and then we call it a day. Uh baby, any questions before before I go do one more one more example? Anybody any question? Type or unmute yourselves. Nothing. You can just type. Yeah. Okay, no thing. Then let's do one more. Uh, 10, 16 points. So one no trump. Okay, this is stay man. So two hearts. Okay, so most likely partner has a uh, four card space. Okay, so first thing is, uh, again, count your winners. So for winners, you have uh, one, two, two space winner, one heart winner, three. Uh, that's it, quite sad. Uh. But lucky the club lead will establish your clubs, I think. Okay. Okay, if I play a club, I can get two winners. If I play a diamond and uh, diamonds break three three, I can have four win uh, three more winners. So clubs will give you another two winners, whereas diamond will give me potentially three winners if the diamonds break three three. So I'll play the diamond. Okay, but they play another one. Okay, should I play another one? Okay, now back again. So if I play a diamond, I will have one winner. Okay, but now if I play a club, I have two winners. So now see a logic. So that's why you need to switch. Yeah, you should not just uh, play on one suit only. Oh, they catch a diamond. No, they don't. Okay, this one is sad. Uh. Okay, if East has the king, then the queen is good. So East will not lead away. So most likely, uh, won't be. Uh, yeah, won't be, won't be. 
Who knows, ah? <laughs> yeah, okay. Play a diamond, play a diamond, play a diamond, play a diamond. Yeah! Diamond? No. Okay, so then now they cash one more diamond. <coughs> wow, this one may go down. And then thought of playing the spade. Okay, now my uh they can't duck already, you really lost four tricks. So play a club. Okay, I think the club is good. Ah, down already. Could I have made a contract? Need to guess the spade. Let's see. Okay, the key of bridge is you always look back and see where you can make a contract. Mm, doesn't seem you can make. That's very sad. Okay, club lead. Okay. So no matter what I do, I'll always be down one. Diamond. Diamond. Oh, I can make it. Here they should catch the ace. Okay, so there's a missed defense. Okay, so now I switch to a club. See, switching to a club is correct. So switch to a club is correct. Okay. Play low is okay. Still okay. Still correct. Still okay. Ha, here I must discard a heart. Yeah, this is a mistake. So here I should discard a heart. The heart has no point. Yeah, I should think that way. If I discard a heart, then I can actually finesse these for the queen. Yeah, there's no reason. I usually have to keep this card in case this is a squeeze card. But then the problem is that this is too small. I, I still I lose to after the jet is out, I still lose to a 10 or the 8. So it's too small. So I have to throw this card away. So after I throw this card away, then but I still have to guess who has the queen. So throw this card away and then just guess that East has the queen. So uh I can play the jack and let it run or play the ace and the jack. Okay. But anyway, this one should, should not make. Yeah, because they misdefended, they should have taken the ace at this point of time. Yeah, they will be down one. Okay, so the, the moral stories don't always duck. There must be a reason for ducking. Okay, so you duck too often, then you see the problem with ducking. If I duck this round, declare is going to switch to another suit. Declare now switch to a club and already obtained two diamond tricks. That will be enough for the tricks. So don't always duck. Yeah, I made a mistake. There was a one hand also duck. Yeah, so 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 just be careful. Uh, you don't always have to duck. Okay, otherwise, uh, you can let opponent make a mistake, uh, make a contract. Yeah, thank you. So uh, just stop here. Any questions? You know, I call it a day. Thanks for coming. Any other questions? Very quiet. Can you all like prepare questions or prepare topics so that I can go through? <laughs> yeah, that's more interesting for me. If not, I'll uh, call it a day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.